matchup. Well, you broadcast Udell Johnson when he won the silver medal in the 2004 Olympics. Among this group that we've been watching over the course of the last six months, Teddy, be it Rigondeau and Laura and Yuri Orkis Gamboa, where does Johnson fit in the mix? Not as good. Not as good as those guys. A little bit below them. He won a silver medal in the 2004 Olympics. Uh, he's tall. He's got good physical assets. He'll give them up sometimes to get inside instead of staying outside. I like Lara because he has good physical assets, good wingspan, but he knows how to keep it. He knows his identity, knows how to use those things. Johnson still gives them up a little bit, sometimes goes into the shorter man's quarters, and you could probably see a glimpse of that a moment ago, but again, a good prospect, and a prospect who's in, I think, relatively easy once again. You can tell he's very offensive-minded here against Paolo. Now, Rigan Diao opened things up tonight with a laser-like targeted body shot to score a first-round knockout. And Johnson coming out the aggressor here early on. There's and again, a left you, hand that landed to the head. And again, you can see Johnson is tall for the weight, pretty good height, good wingspan, technically solid, most of the cubits off, but he'd give up that reach a little bit and get in close. Now, he may not pay a price for it tonight, but as he wants to move up the boxing ladder, he's going to have to learn how to fight at the proper quarters that fit his physicalities, his physical assets. See, again, he goes inside a little close, but nothing coming back from Paulo, so why not? Exactly. There was an uppercut that got in, and now a left hand that comes with a headshot. And Johnson is having a very easy go of it here in his opening round. You know, it's a funny thing. If this was an amateur bout, there's a good chance that Paulo's people would not have allowed him to fight Johnson. They'd say that he's, you know, that Johnson's too experienced. He's a silver medalist from the 2004 Olympics, representing the famed Cuban national team. But they allow him to fight Johnson in the pros. Why, Joe? Because they're only looking at a 1-0 record, not at the records and accolades when he was an amateur. I find that very interesting. I agree with you. It's uh, Well, we've discussed it many times with these Cuban amateurs that have 300 fights and Olympic medals. Uh, they're fighting four-round fights at the beginning of their career, which is a natural stage of progression for a pro fighter. But they're already well beyond the competition that they're facing. Of course, they've been fighting for probably the last six, seven, maybe eight years of their lives, the best fighters in the world. And in, and in terms of their age also, Teddy, these are not 18, 19, 20-year-old prospects coming up. These are 28, 26, 27-year-old grown men. Johnson, 28 years old. And again, the reason for that is unless they escape from Cuba, which these fighters have, they could not fight professionals, so they continued in the amateurs in Cuba. Dominating round by Johnson. 